Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm going to help you today work out whether you are ready to knit cables. Cabling is a great beginner next step, but exactly what do you need to have accomplished in your knitting before you begin cabling? Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. We are talking cable knitting today, so let's talk about exactly what tools, what te which techniques, what you need to have accomplished in your knitting before you begin cabling. So the first thing I would suggest is that you've done enough knitting and you've done enough purling so that you're happy to switch between knit and purl stitches. A lot of the time when you're cabling, you use the contrast between knit and purl stitches to show off the cabling. Cabling really does give a great twist to the knitting, but if you can't see the contrast there, you can't see the shadows of the cable, then it's quite disappointing. So a lot of the time we will find in cable knitting patterns that you will use the cabling when you're doing the knit stitch, but either side of that cable twist, you will see purl stitches. It gives a really great shadow to it, lets, it sh lets you show it off as you're knitting. So you need to be aware of the fact that you will be switching between knit and purl stitches as you are creating any kind of cable pattern. So make sure that you're happy with that. Make sure that you understand the knit and purl stitches well. If you've done enough ribbing, if you've knitted knitted scarves, for example, with a rib stitch, that would be really helpful. If you've knitted hats and beanies with a rib stitch, that would be really helpful too. But just be aware that you will be switching between knit and purl stitches. You need to be pretty happy with that technique. The next thing, because you will have to be switching between those stitches, you need to have enough experience with your knitting to have a relatively even tension and stitch confidence. You're not likely to have loose parts to your knitting and tight parts to your knitting and uneven bits of your knitting all over the whole piece. That will mean that the cabling looks effective and you'll be quite happy with it. And just make sure that as you knit a piece, as you knit a hat or a scarf or whatever it is that you've been knitting recently, that the tension across your whole pieces are relatively even. And if you have some of your early knits, then you'll be able to realise that, yes, okay, I've improved compared to how I started. So if you have a, a marked improvement, and that's probably a good sign, that you'll be ready to start challenging yourself with cable knitting for beginners. So as we move into what tools you need, one thing that you will need is a cable needle. You can use options that don't necessarily have to be cable needles if you like, but it is really helpful at some point to get hold of a cable needle. Generally speaking, it's just a short needle with a dip in it. For a very long time, I used a spare double pointed needle. And when I first saw a cable needle, I actually said to my friend, what on earth is that? And she said, well, it's a cable needle. Did you not realize that? And it was a revelation. <laughs> so it doesn't actually matter. It's quite easy to knit cables without having the correct, absolute hierarchy of cabling tools. I found a knitting magazine 12, 13 years ago, which had attached to it for free, a pack of three cable needles. I have been using them ever since. That's all I've needed. I've never bought any more sizes. It just includes a range. So there's a thin one, a medium one, and a thick one. And when I'm knitting cables, I just select whichever one is nearest to the needle that I'm knitting with. You're not gonna knit vast amounts on it, so it's not gonna change the tension or the size of your stitches. That's all you need is a general cable needle or a pack of three or four cable needles if you want to go that far. But like I said, you can use a spare knitting needle. That's not a problem. So that's it. That's what I really suggest for you if you are starting to knit. And if you're thinking, hmm, I've got so far with my beginner knitting, where can I go next? I'd love to start cabling. It's a great way to move on from very beginner knitting and just get to the next step. You can knit this placemat. It's very quick and easy to knit. I used less than a 50 gram ball of yarn to knit this up. 
and the single piece of jargon that talks about cables in that pattern, I will show you next week in next week's tutorial. Great, thank you so much for joining me today. Click on the link if you'd like to below to get the free pattern and do hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'll be back next week talking about which yarns might be better if you are knitting cables, which yarns will show off the cables and the twists and which yarns might actually hide them. I do hope you'll join me for that. Bye for now. Happy knitting. Thank you.